What's up, YouTube? It is your boy JB, and we are here tonight for the review for Married to Medicine. This is season eight. This is episode number 15. So, next week is the season finale, and this is Jekyll Island part one. So, you guys, before we get into the video, if you guys are watching this video or anything else on the channel and you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, what are we doing, you guys? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell button and without further ado let's get into the let, without further ado let's get into the review all right you guys so this episode honestly it was a little bit on the stale side for me but we'll talk about it so we pick up where we left off last week you guys remember in the last episode it was heavenly and it was um lisa nicole arguing back and forth Lisa Nicole was saying get Heavenly off the her RV. Um, Heavenly was like, shit, forget it. Shit, get me off this motherfucker. I got um I got an Uber. Somehow they calmed the situation down. I don't know how they calmed it down, but they calmed the situation down. And then we see at one point where they had to pull over to the gas station and put some gas in the RV. And I'm like, wait a minute. Y'all didn't have enough gas to get y'all. Well, you know what? I guess they did. I, I guess they probably did, but they probably needed to fill up to make it the rest of the way, because it took them nine hours to get there. And I was like, "What time did y'all leave to make it to that whole wherever y'all was staying at at four a.m.? I would have been highly upset and pissed. Hell no! Nah. It took y'all nine hours. Hell, I would have been like him. I really would have been pissed." So then we see the next morning that Heavenly and Jackie, they are having a conversation and they're talking about Toya. And Jackie is telling Heavenly that Toya expressed to her the way that she feels about her relationship with Heavenly. You know, she's known Heavenly for quite some time. And the fact that, you know, she feels that Heavenly, you know, talks, she talks about her and, you know, talks about her in a bad and negative way. And Heavenly is like, so she can talk, so she can say whatever she wanna say, but I can't say anything back. And I got where Heavenly was coming from. But sometimes, Heavenly Girl, you know you take a low blow. You know, you will take a low blow in a heartbeat. And Jack just says, you know, she thinks that Heavenly should try to bridge the gap with Toya. And she should be the mature one. I mean, I guess it's, it's Toya we're talking about. So I guess I'll say, for the sake of saying, yes. Be the bigger. Nope. No, 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 no. No. I wouldn't. I'm sorry, it just wouldn't be me. Because I would have to, I, I, I'm sorry, it just would not be me. Like Tavonley said, Toya can say whatever the hell she want to say, and you want me to be the bigger person? You want, no. Now, I might not stoop to her level, or would I? Actually, I would. But we going to play like I wouldn't. But no, I wouldn't be the mature one. But let's move on. All right, you guys. Next up, Heavenly and Toya. So Heavenly and Toya, they do sit down and they had a discussion with each other. They talked about their friendship. And Toya told Heavenly how she feels about, you know, how she and Eugene feel about the jokes that she made. And Heavenly, surprisingly enough, I was actually surprised that Heavenly apologized to Toya and Toya did the same to Heavenly. I was actually surprised and like I said you know when it comes I know you know Heavenly takes does her jokes and st stuff but if you know it's a situation that a person is sensitive about don't joke about it you know shade them rib them wherever you wherever else but if you know it's on somewhere that if you know it's a circum certain circumstance or situation that a person is sensitive about I would I would just refrain from doing it so then we see Contessa and um, she's talking to Quad and to Jackie. And she's giving them the rundown of the situation with she and Scott. You guys remember, last episode, Scott told Contessa when, he was, when she was on the phone with her life coach that he's had a life coach for the last seven to eight months. He doesn't pay the woman. And she asked him how did he find the woman, he said, on the, inter you know, on the, um, on the internet. And... Ugh just literally thinking back to that he's been having a life coach that he's not paying for 
You didn't know nothing about her. He found her over the internet. I mean, that screams a red flag to me, just saying. Screams a red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. But, you know, whatever. But I like that Jackie told her that she needs to work on her marriage, which she, if, the thing with Contessa is, if you want to stay in the marriage, absolutely work on the marriage. If you don't, then don't stay and settle. You know, don't stay for the kids. Don't stay for what, you know, any reason that doesn't involve happiness. If you're not happy in the situation, that means that it's time for you to get out of that situation. So, and especially if you think that you're going to stay for the kids so that they can have a two-parent household, the kids will still be able to sense that mommy and daddy have issues with each other. And then she also mentions the fact that one of her daughters talks about daddy's girlfriend. I don't know where that baby got that from, if she got that from Scott or wherever, but it's not a good look on any, it's just not a good look. Definitely not a good look at all. All right, you guys, we're gonna move on. All right, you guys, so we see the ladies, they go out for cocktails. And at this point, they're having a good time with each other. Everybody's laughing with each other. Not Nobody's arguing. I'm like, oh, wow, good time has been had. You know, everyone was there with the exception of Anila. So Toya got a text message from Eugene. So she was telling us that in her neighborhood, the people in her neighborhood, you see a lot of you-know-who make America great again signs. And she was like, I, I actually did see that. I saw what she, what she read. When you see Make America Great Again signs, it just screams, a racist lives here to me. That's what I, that's what I get as well. Um, I would move out of that neighborhood quick, fast, and in a hurry. Especially with her raising two black boys. Hell nah. So Anila finally shows up and they ask her why was she late. And she was like, you know, because of her first COVID test that she took, it came back inconclusive. So she had to take another one. And that one came back negative. So then we see Jackie and Quad. They are in Simone's room. And they are talking to Simone about, you know, the issues that Contessa brought up to them about Scott. And what they want to do is they want to invite the rest of the men up. So that way they can have a conversation, you know, to try to come together as a collective and, you know, help Contessa and Scott um so Contessa and Scott are no Jackie and Curtis and they are no Yeah, they're no Jackie and Curtis and they're no Simone and Cecil. I can't even say if they're uh Quad and Dr. G. You know what they might be a little bit better than Quad and Dr. G. Just a tad bit. Not that much. Not that much. So then we see the la ladies, they all go down to dinner and they all riding in the individual, you know, they're riding in the uh, golf carts. So in one golf cart, it is Quad and Anila. In the other one is Contessa, Carrie, Lisa, and Toya. And then the other one is the Golden Girls. Uh, Jackie. See Simone, Jackie Simone, and um, Heavenly. So they go to dinner, and you know, Heavenly was telling the ladies about the conversation that she and Toya had. And in that moment, she lifted Toya up. I was like, oh wow. So Heavenly did listen to Toya. Kudos to you, um, Heavenly. So then Carrie said, comes up with a game for them to play. She wants them all to write down rumors that they've heard about someone in the group. And Anila's like, well, I'm new to the group, so I don't really know any rumors. We'll talk about hers. So the first one came up was, is Toya bisexual? Toya said, I'm not bisexual. And then they played the clip from, I think it was last season reunion, when they were talking about, you know, her healthy sex life before, uh, you know, Eugene. Then she had, um, her rumor was about uh, Quad. Did Quad kiss her? P.S. I don't remember because I was drunk or something like that. And they laughed at that. So then the next one was from Anila. So Anila says, did Lisa, um, did Lisa and Carrie steal Anila's money back in DC? 
and everybody's like, uh oh. So I guess some money came up missing from Anila in DC and she didn't know who it was. So she just threw out Lisa and Carrie because they were in her room getting ready at one point, which is actually back on, on right now. And I'm literally at that scene. So it was $400. And here we go, Contessa talking about Lisa was still your car, your house, your husband. That ain't Lisa Nicole's level. And checks, check the news. She ain't selling the $400. <laughs> Um, she said she didn't lose it, and then you know that sparked a whole argument between she and Lisa Nicole, and then they move over to the thing about with Lisa Nicole about Anila's blogging. Now, when it comes to Anila, the one thing I will say in defense of Lisa Nicole is. If you didn't send her an invoice, how did you expect her to pay you? Like, you gotta send people invoices when you do a service for them. But Lisa was sending her line like they never like they never discussed money, they never discussed this and this and that. I'm like, yes, y'all did. And the producers actually played it back. You know what? Heavenly has a point. Don't do business with Lisa Nicole. Don't do business with her. Like, Heavenly actually had a point with that one. But that's the review, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else, share this video. And until the next one, stay safe, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Remember, wash your hands, wear your mask or not. Be safe, be blessed. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.